She was also eager to know more about the world. I wanted to go back to school so badly. I was just dying to learn stuff, said Neil, who recalled trying to teach myself ancient Greek. She considered programs at Columbia and New York University that were closer to most of her filming in Manhattan, but she knew there would be other shoots in more distant locations, and that a flexible schedule was key. I needed something I could do remotely and in weird pockets of time. She also wanted a robust program with academic variety. The Harvard Extension School was the perfect fit. I realized I could do neuroscience, I could do psychology, I could do archaeology, I could do theology, I could do everything I wanted to learn, she said. Harvard has given me access to the smartest people in the world who genuinely love what they do. Everyone is a true believer in what they are doing. They are so passionate and enthusiastic about it, it makes you catch fire about it too. Neil has been enrolled since 2009, working online from New York, or on the road, or on campus for classes when she could. Learning has helped her hone her candidate's platform. A course on the psychology of close relationships has helped her better understand other points of view. A class on the ethics of environmental land management has opened her up to new ways of thinking about how humans treat the planet. A course on the science of physical activity has reinforced her belief that staying active is a key to health and that you can actually build policy around that. It was often a struggle to balance her work with her studies. She remembers turning to law. He offered her some tough love in the form of the Navy SEAL's unwritten code. You just eliminate quitting as an option, Harmon told her. Neil persisted despite personal trials, including a divorce, a car accident that sidelined her from work with a back injury needing surgery, and a home ravaged by two hurricanes. I've been most impressed with this and Diane's overall commitment to completing her degree, facing challenges head-on, and always with a sense of humor, said Sue Albrigo, her extension school academic advisor. That attitude will come in handy on the campaign trail. Her desire to act crystallized on November 9, 2016. The country's polarization, she said, fueled her desire to get involved and to get people excited about this grand experiment of the Democratic Republic. It's a lofty goal, one she thinks she can accomplish by running as an independent. I wanted to find a way that would have the biggest impact, where the most people would listen, said Neil. Language on her website echoes that desire. I offer an alternative to the divisive partisanship where neighbor turns against neighbor for no better reason than a party label. I truly believe in our combined ability to bring out the best in each other. For Neil, getting people from both sides of the divide talking is a critical first step, and she plans to use what she's learned at Harvard to jumpstart the conversation. Her Harvard time, she said, has helped her see the big picture and taught her how to explain difficult concepts. It's also reinforced her appreciation for listening and for other perspectives, and shown her how interconnected everything is.